Large representatives of the cat family are among the most dangerous predators on the planet. Lions, tigers, leopards, jaguars, and other cats now occupy the top rungs of the food pyramid in their natural areas. But even 10,000 years ago, they had to compete not only with representatives of other families, but also with their closest relatives, saber-toothed cats. Today, we will talk about the most interesting saber-toothed cats and the process of their transformation into the dominant predators of their time. Subscribe to the channel, Age of Dinosaurs. This will allow you to be the first to know about the release of the next issue. We also encourage our subscribers to actively express their opinions in the comments under the videos. And with the help of likes, you will help promote this video according to the algorithms of the platform. That way, more viewers can see it. The idea of the saber-toothed tiger as the most feared predator of the Ice Age is largely created by various works of art. Fast and cunning cats of huge size with a short tail and huge fangs are the heroes of films, cartoons, and computer games. But at the beginning of their development, saber-toothed cats were very different from this image. The earliest representative of the cat family, which is known to science, is the Proaelurus. His name can be translated from Greek as before the cat. This animal has been distributed throughout the world. The most complete fossils have been found in France, Germany, Spain, and Mongolia. There are also several finds in North America, but at the moment, they have not been described by scientists. These great cats weighed about 9 kilograms and, most likely, led an arboreal lifestyle. Evolution to saber-toothed cats has repeatedly endowed predators with such a mechanism as enlarged upper fangs. At the same time as the Proaelurus, animals of the family of the Barbrulifelids, or false saber-toothed cats, lived on the earth. These predators are not even distant relatives of the modern cats, but at the same time, they have many features in common with them. Barbarophallus was much larger than the Proaelurus, with growth up to 90 meters. The largest species of the family were comparable to modern lions. He lived in North America and Eurasia in the period from 13.6 to 7.6 million years ago. This beast had a large muscular body and long flattened fangs. A shadow groove ran along the entire length of the Barophilus's canine. It is believed that blood could flow freely through it when the victim was bitten. Such a peculiar tool speaks of the narrow specialization. The subfamily of the saber-toothed cats split from a common ancestor with modern felines about 25 million years ago. Then they lived exclusively in Africa. The spread of the saber-tooth in Eurasia and North America began much later. The last common ancestor of modern and saber-toothed cats is considered Pseudialor. These small animals weighing up to 30 kilograms settled all over the planet except for Australia and Antarctica. Pseudialor did not exceed modern cougars in size. The structure of its limbs says that, most likely, this predator climbed trees perfectly. In the process of their development and settlement on the planet, saber-toothed cats became larger and larger. In many regions, they have occupied the niche of the largest and most dangerous predators. Representatives of this family, who lived at the end of the Cretaceous period, are often called saber-toothed tigers. Outwardly, they did not look at all like the largest cats in Asia. Saber-toothed and ordinary tigers cannot even be distant relatives, but many scientists believed that their way of life was largely similar. For tens of millions of years, several genera of large saber-toothed cats lived in different parts of the planet. All of them had developed a muscular body with a short tail, and scientists can only guess about the color of their skins. The main weapon in the hunt for large prey was the large fangs of the upper jaw. Among them, 
Several of the most studied and interesting varieties for researchers can be distinguished. Megantarion Translated from Greek, the name of this large cat is translated as huge chin. Sometimes, Megatarion is also called prickly tooth. The fact that this predator cannot boast of such impressive fangs as those of its other relatives. But still, it can be attributed to the conditional category of saber-toothed tigers. The body length of the Megantarion was about 120 centimeters and weighed up to 100 kilograms. These large cats lived in Africa, Eurasia, and North America in the period from 10 million to 500,000 years ago. This means that our very distant ancestors were the prey of the Megantherions. In Africa, bones of early Australopithecus were found with bite marks from the teeth of these predators. Due to the small size of the fangs, Megantherions could hunt both large and small animals. At first, scientists assumed that these predators inflicted a swift bite at one of the critical points. They then held the victim until she bled to death or suffocated. But later studies showed that their jaw strength was not enough to hold prey for a long time. Most likely, they inflicted several sharp bites and waited for the victim to weaken. After that, they simply finished off defenseless prey. Maharod This species of saber-toothed tiger also lived in Africa, Europe, Asia, and North America between 15 and 2 million years ago. The Maharods were steep dwellers. Eurasia is considered their homeland. These cats owe their name to the similarity of the shape of the fangs with the curved Mahar swords that they were using in ancient Greece, Egypt, and Syria. Relatively small fangs were equipped with jagged edges. With a growth of up to 1.2 meters, Meherods could reach a mass of 220 kilograms. The Eurasian subspecies was a larger and similar in structure to modern large cats. The North American Meherods were slightly leaner and possessed elongated forelimbs. This body structure is somewhat reminiscent of hyenas. Homotherium Saber-toothed cats from the genus Homotherium were presumably descendants of the Meherods. They appeared about 3.5 million years ago and died out about 12,000 years ago. The remains of these animals have been found not only in Africa, Eurasia, and North America. Homotherius also reached South America. Their fangs were shorter and broader than those of other saber teeth. Similar fangs of the same size to the modern Amur tiger. This means that Homotherium was capable, just like the tiger, of carrying rather large, heavy prey in its teeth for a long time. The height of this predator did not exceed 110 centimeters. His body weight reached 190 kilograms. With its physique, the Homotherium differed in many respects from the large felines we are used to. Because of the elongated forelimbs, he looks like a hyena. The structure of the pelvic bones is similar to the structure of the pelvis of bears. At the same time, the structure of the respiratory tract of the homotherium resembles the structure of the nasal passages in cheetahs. This discovery refutes the theory that short-tailed saber-toothed cats were poor runners. But their advantage was not in speed but in endurance. It is assumed that representatives of this subfamily were able to make long transitions or pursue their prey for a long time. Smilodon The most recognizable of all saber-toothed tigers, it was this animal that became the prototype of one of the characters in the series of the animated films of the Ice Age. The probable ancestors of the Smilodons were the Megatherians. The remains of these large cats were found on the territory of both American continents. The earliest of them are about 2 million years old. The last Smilodons died out around 10,000 years ago. Their body length was up to 2.7 meters, height up to 1.2 meters. 
The body weight of these predators is estimated in the range from 160 to 400 kilograms. Some researchers suggest that the largest representatives of this genus could weigh up to 500 kilograms. The length of the fangs of the Smilodon exceeded 20 centimeters. The reconstruction of the jaws of this saber-toothed tiger showed that he could open his mouth 120 degrees. Whereas modern cats can open their mouth no more than 65 degrees. Researchers are still arguing about the purpose of the saber-shaped fangs of these ancient cats. Many believe that such a highly specialized tool could have caused their extinction. Due to climate change, large herbivores, which were their main prey of the saber-toothed tigers, disappeared. Their main competitors, lions, tigers, leopards, and jaguars turned out to be the more versatile predator. There is also an opinion that primitive hunters, with whom they had to compete for a place at the top of the food pyramid, contributed to the disappearance of the saber-toothed cats. Thank you for watching this video to the end. You can get a closer look at the life of other prehistoric animals from our previous videos. Also on the Dinosaur Age channel, you can find information on the history of the emergence of life and modern environmental problems. We'll see you next time.